Performance boaters can thank Hollywood for the creation of the 40 MTI. A couple of years back, when the movie Miami Vice was being filmed, director Michael Mann asked Marine Technology to add a foot to the stern of a 39 MTI. Around $10,000, and two weeks later, the 40 MTI was born. Company founder Randy Sism figured the converted cat was a one-off for the movie. Not so, because owners of existing 39 MTIs began asking him if he could extend their catamarans. The 40 MTI still runs on the same stepped hull as the 39-footer, and that's a very good thing. The boat's owner, Phil Feldman, went with mellow power for the 40-footer delivered to the Florida leg of the powerboat performance trials. A pair of Mercury Racing HP 700 SCI engines and NXT1 drives were the power package of choice. For propellers, the builder chose big 38-inch pitch 5-blade models from Herring. With that setup, the 40 MTI reached a top speed of 128 miles per hour at 5200 RPM. Without question, the 40 MTI was propped for top speed. That great top speed number came at the expense of the catamaran's acceleration. After coming on plane in 7.8 seconds with its trim tabs down, the boat reached just 56 miles per hour in 20 seconds. Mid-range acceleration was a bit stronger as the cat ran from 30 to 50 miles per hour in 6.7 seconds. No improvement was needed for the 40 MTI when it came to handling. The catamaran felt hooked up and carved precisely in all turns, especially those at higher speeds. Running at top speed, it felt bolted to the water and never wandered or wavered. The boat's ability to tame rough water was difficult to determine because big waves were in short supply during our test day. The wildest seas the Gulf of Mexico could dish out were one to two footers, but having run plenty of MTIs in the past, our test drivers can attest to the boat's rough water taming ability. Immaculate was the word our inspector used to describe the 40 MTI's tooling and paintwork. A stainless steel rub rail protected the catamaran's hull side from dockside dings. Deck hardware consisted of six retractable cleats and a navigation light. For access to the spacious engine compartment in the stern area, the builder molded steps into the center section between the engine hatches. Powder-painted scissor-style hinges connected the two hatches to the transom. Twin screw jacks raised the hatches for access to the engines. Offshore mounts and L-angles through bolted to the stringers secured the engines. So open was the space in the compartment that the engines were almost four feet aft of the firewall. Batteries were mounted in billet boxes engraved with the MTI logo. Rigging was neat and tidy, right down to the color-matched blue tie wraps for the wiring. For our money, the six-bucket seat layout in our test boat, rather than the four-bucket setup, is the way to go. Each person has a little less space than he or she would in the four-bucket arrangement, but the ability to take two more friends along for the ride is a nice option. To keep passengers from treading on the upholstery, MTI installed molded steps between the inner two buckets in the aft section of the carpeted cockpit. Grab handles were installed between the buckets as well as on the padded gunnels. Forward of the bucket seats for the co-pilot and driver, there were doors that provided access to the boat's cabin, which was more of a large stowage locker. That's more than a lot of catamaran builders provide, and it will come in handy in the 40 MTI because its cockpit stowage options are somewhat limited. At the helm, the builder augmented the combination of Mercury Smartcraft instruments and Lavorsi Marine gauges with a Garmin GPS in the center of the dash. Throttles and shifters were from Marine Machine. Thanks to some prompting by a Hollywood director, the decision to add a foot to the proven 39 MTI turned out to be a smart one. The 40-footer could quickly become MTI's new rising star.